when we look at these conferences in general we look at two kinds of you know uh, folks who are attending those who are bringing ideas insights valuable they deliver talk the you know sessions and then people who gain a lot of insights from these conferences so it's like give and take it's both what were some of your takeaways and how based on the conversations you had the sessions you see your takeaway and how is going to influence your own strategy for akamai so it's interesting you know we all learn differently uh i learned so much at all these you know part of it is reconnecting with peers that you don't see all the time i i love that about you know your regional conferences building your network up more um but i, I you do have a lot to continue to learn the nice thing about rsa and some of the other large conferences a lot of the talks will go out on uh youtube if you go to RSA's YouTube channel, you can look at the bunch of the keynotes. Um if you if you want to buy access to RSA, I think you can still buy access and a lot of the talks will record it. So this is a chance for you to, you know, again, 450 talks, how many can you see while you're there? So great chance for continued uh, education. You know, how do you learn or are, are you a hands-on person? Uh do you look better audio or I I grew up reading so I I love to read books to learn um and so as I think through this and what I want to continue to focus on first of all at the senior level it is about what the big impacts are ransomware business email compromise I want to know what's going on there I want to understand it some great insights recently um and and some of that ties into compliance requirements Uh, NIST 4.0 just put out uh, a new requirement on governance. We talked about materiality. Um there's there's so much going on there that there's some good insights. Uh I I think the two areas most of us are looking at to keep fresh on transformation is in IT is so focused on APIs right now. Um so do you understand API specific attacks? The OWASP API top 10 um those kind of things and and where that's going to scale what the challenges are uh shadow or zombie apis um i think that's something we need to focus on and as i said at the very beginning ai was such a big topic and again that's a two-sided sword we've got people talking about how to use ai uh as a cybersecurity tool and people talking about what the threat is doing with ai And so I think for me I will continue to make sure you know I'm staying up we're implementing some of the best practices we're hearing around APIs and and where do I want to put my investment in in leveraging machine learning on our side where is the security functions where we're leveraging uh large language models how do we secure that I think those are our challenges most of us are trying to get fresh on or or get knowledgeable on.